all of these documentaries I saw, it was very difficult because they all touched me in a different way. Uh, some of them were very inspirational, and when I saw what some of these people were overcoming, I felt a little lazy myself. And I, I but I certainly, you know, now have after watching those, you get a reinvigorated lack lack of excuses to to get off your took us and do, you know, what you should be doing instead of making excuses. Uh, there were a couple of those that touched me that way. Um, a couple others that uh, really just, I think, cemented a certain history, a certain legacy, even about Flat Rock, the area near here. But there was one that wasn't, where it differed from the others is it wasn't about the person who was centered in the documentary. It wasn't about their personal story overcoming some obstacle. Instead, it was about someone's personal story trying to overcome the obstacles for a lot of other people. Um, uh, a story of not only personal redemption for himself, but also working at great risk to life and limb, especially when he did it to himself, in order to bring a certain pride and dignity to another group of individuals besides himself. Um, that film is African Redemption, The Life and Legacy of Mark Scarborough. But I always talk about this David and Goliath syndrome. I always, um, I always, uh, the, 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 the downtrodden is the one that I look towards, you know, to champion. I don't champion the oppressive. So I think it's uh, human nature to want to root for the underdog. And, and Marcus Garvey himself was an underdog. And I would say that Marcus Garvey is alive today. And it is my hope that um, after you see this film, that he would have been, you know, educated much more about this man, inspired by what, you know, what he did. I'm glad you agree with that because it was very difficult. It really was. It, the film was structured incredibly well. Uh, the uh, footage was, archival footage was uh, unbelievably well put together. And the story is something people should know. And the name is, is a name people should know because this man predated uh, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. I, I truly don't believe they would have had the full impact they had if he hadn't already, to some degree, opened that door. And he did it at a time when it was a lot more dangerous, even though you see what they went through. So um, that, is the, that is the documentary. If you haven't seen it, I would really suggest you watch it. It's an amazing piece of history. And, and a gentleman who, has, who had done so much um, with so little in return, who ended up dying alone at a, a quite a young age. So this is something to watch. Up you mighty race, you can accomplish what you will. Up you might race. You can accomplish what you will. Thank you to Bo and Kirk for uh, inviting me here. Shoot your blessing to uh, 